close our eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God. Lord, we honor you and we praise you, Jesus, on this Sunday morning. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see another day, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for keeping us in our right minds on this morning, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we have on this morning, Lord God, to praise and worship you, Jesus. Lord, we don't take this time for granted, Lord God, but we come with a sincere heart, Lord God, seeking your face, Lord God, seeking your presence, Heavenly Father, standing in the gap for one another, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you would touch those who are hurting right now, Lord God. Every broken peace, Lord God. We ask that you would mend it back together right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Those who are dealing with devastation, Lord God. Those who are dealing with trauma, Lord God. Those who are dealing, Lord God, with the pain, Lord God, of their past, Heavenly Father. Lord, we ask that you would give them the strength and the Holy Ghost power, Lord God, to release it unto you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For Lord, your word lets us know that we are already healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, we speak healing, Lord God. We walk in healing, Lord God. We walk in deliverance, Lord God. We walk in breakthrough on this morning, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for releasing the chains right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for dispatching angels right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To block the very plot of the enemy. Hallelujah. Lord, we speak that your children will live, hallelujah, and shall not die, hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the minds of your children, Lord God. The enemy tries to attack our mind, Lord God, and tell us who we are not, Lord God, and what we cannot do. But, oh, Lord, give us a hunger, Lord God. Give us a thirst for your word like never before, Heavenly Father. Your word lets us know that we are more than a conqueror, hallelujah. Your word lets us know that we are victorious, hallelujah. Lord, we ask that you would come, Lord God. Come right now, Lord God. Rest upon us right now, Lord God. Be with the speaker on this morning, Lord God. Allow him to minister unto us, Lord God, like never before. Hallelujah. Let him prick our hearts with your word, Lord God. Keep us all, Lord God. Cover us all, Lord God, and watch over us, Lord God. Lord, we praise you. We honor you, Lord God. And we give you thanks in advance. Hallelujah. We don't wait, Lord God, until it comes into fruition, Lord God. But we are faith walkers. Hallelujah. Believe in your word, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Keep us, Lord God. And bless us like never before. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And uh, we definitely want to continue to remember the Reeves, Sister Reeves, they were here last week and was letting us know uh, about, you know, the different things that she's going through health-wise. So we want to definitely keep them in prayer. Hallelujah. But amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to prepare our hearts for the word. Amen. Amen. I told you he was going to fly all the way in yes, from yes. Racino Ranch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, he probably flew on that Mercedes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But amen. But they delivered a beautiful word on Wednesday night. And yes. now he's here, amen, to move us by the word of God, to be used of God, amen, in the person of Minister Mario Shaw Jr. Can we say amen? Amen. Can we say amen again? Amen. Amen. And he's going to take, yeah, I'm going to hit you with this. He's going to take that class so he can get his national life. Yes, yes. Amen. Elder Shaw. Elder amen. Shaw. Amen. amen. That's amen. right. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. In the presence of the Lord. Amen. I'm excited about today. Yes. I'm excited, amen, what God has to deliver. Yeah. I'm excited the word that God has given me, amen. It's love month. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Month of February is definitely love month. Every month should be love month. Yes. Amen, amen. Every month should be love month, amen. But this is special because, of course, you know, we have Valentine's Day, and it's the, the time you do something special for your spouse and everything. This is the year. My wife told me, she's like, I don't want nothing on Valentine's Day. Okay. She said, I don't want nothing. You, you should, every day should be Valentine's Day. Yes. Amen. So I definitely understand that. Amen. But I'm excited. 
Uh, I think we did go on. I think we did go do something. Amen. I still did. I said, hey, well, since this, since you don't want no Valentine's Day, I'm gonna give it to you before that. <laughs> Hallelujah, Amen. I'll give it to you now. Let me go get it. Hallelujah, Amen. So definitely excited, excited for all you in attendance. Excited for you out there on Facebook land. I believe that God is going to do something today for you. Yes. Amen. And you, amen. But I really want to talk about, amen, if you're a writer and you want to take notes, amen, I plan on talking today if God leads me to preach, amen, but I plan on talking, amen. Hallelujah. I really want to talk about the need for strong relationships in the body of faith. Yes. Hallelujah, the need for strong relationships in the body of faith. And I, I really look at that because, before I get into the scripture, I really look at that because um, people are looking, amen, people outside of these walls are looking for a place to receive refuge. They're looking for a place to receive love. They're looking for a place to re where they can feel safe and secure. And if the church can't provide that, then what are we here for? Yes. If the church can't provide that unconditional love, what are we here for? Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not enough just to love those inside here. Mm -hmm. It's not enough just to honor those inside here. But the, the brother that's coming in or the sister that's coming in, that don't quite look the way we look, mm -hmm. don't quite act the way we act, mm -hmm. don't quite stand or talk the way we talk, mm -hmm. how do we receive those people? Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I really want to deal with that today, amen. Just relationships in the body of, in the body of, uh, of Christ, amen, amen. But my first scripture, amen, is going to be in 1 Corinthians, hallelujah, chapter 12, amen, verse 20. In verse 22, when you get it, say, man, we're going to do some reading today. Hallelujah. We're going to do some reading today. Amen. The scripture reads, as it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. Amen. I kind of want I want to deal with that if that's okay, man. Amen. Because Amen, the thought that all that matters is what you do back here. Mm -hmm. The only thing that matters is on Sunday is how I act behind this pulpit. Amen. And sometimes we look at the usher or the door greeter and we say, well, we really don't need that. And we really don't need the person who's going out canvassing. I don't need the person who's the usher that's greeting people. But understanding that people are won by the door greeter. Mm -hmm. And people are won by the usher. Because you had a smile on your face, amen. I feel welcome, amen. And I feel, amen, like I can come in. And I feel, hallelujah, I feel the love of the house. A lot of times the first interaction is so important, amen. Because people have already turned off the church before they hear the word of God. Amen. People have already turned off, hallelujah, amen, what's going on before that. Because you were so negative and so mean, amen, because you had personal things going on in your life. Amen. But the need for strong relationships in the body of faith is so essential in this day and age because people are watching. Amen. Amen. It reminds me, amen, when I went to Houston. Amen. And I went to, amen, Joe Osteen's church. Amen. I knew when I was out there, I said, I got to go to this brother's church. I got to go. I got to go. Um, I, I just got to go see it. If anything, I got to go see what's going on. And I remember walking in the church and walking in, I park and I walk in and there's stairs and there's like a walkway. And I'm like, okay, I go in, I say, which way do I go? I don't know where to go. It's my first time being there. And there's this lady at the door. This lady's at the door and she's like, she's like, oh, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, it's my first time here. I'm not from out here. I just need, I'm just trying to uh, go into service. I need to know where, to, where I need to sit. You know, she said, oh, it's your first time here? Hold on. She tells whatever the lady's name next door said, hey, I'm about to show this gentleman his seat. So she walks me down this, this little back way where nobody else was. Nobody was walking down this way. 
And so she goes and she's like, yo, this is the teen section and this is the kids room and this is the youth room and this is where we have this activity and this activity. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, man, you know, I didn't tell her I was minister anybody. I, I just said I wanted to come enjoy service. Maybe it's my look. Maybe it's because I got on a tie and maybe it's because I got on, I look a little snazzy. Maybe she, she thinks I'm somebody. Amen. So maybe, maybe that's what it is. So she's, she's taking me back and we walk out. And, and, well, let me go back. When she's walking me through and she's showing me everything, uh, I'm thinking now uh, at the first Ebenezer Baptist Apostolic of the Faith Church, uh, there's no way I would be back here, amen, amen. So I'm taking little notes and saying, okay, you know, this is something we got to incorporate, hallelujah, yeah. amen. This is something we got to start, hallelujah. So she takes me out and, you know, it's an old huge. I walk out, I look up, I'm like, wow, this is, this is amazing. I walk, and I'm right in front of the stage. I'm right in front of the stage. I'm like, oh, man. You know, and I see people taking pictures. So I'm like, hey, I'll take a picture, too. I grab a phone, I'm taking pictures. She's like, hey, do you want to get in, get in front of the stage, and I'll take it for you. Once again, I have a moment. I'm like, well, at the first Ebenezer Baptist in the <laughs> Apostolic Faith Church, I couldn't get close to that stage, so I'm going to take my opportunity and get to, get to the stage. So I take the picture. You know, it's on Instagram. I'm sitting there like this. She took it. She's like, oh, that's amazing. I'm so glad you, I'm so glad you came, Baba. So then I go to her, and I'm like, okay, now how do I get up there in the rafters? You know, I, I know that's where I got to sit. How do I get up there? She's like, no. You sit right here in the second row, and Joel, Joel, Pastor Joel's going to sit right here. He sits with all the first-time visitors. My mind is blown. I'm like, hold on. Now, at the first Ebenezer Baptist Church of the Apostolic Faith, you can't get near the pastor. He got like five or six armor bears around him. But this man is on TV and real popular. You mean to tell me I can sit next to him? I said, oh, my God. Yeah. I said, man, at that moment, I, I had like an epiphany. It just hit me like, we're doing it all wrong. Yeah, yeah. We, we got some issues with, 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 our, with our church. Not I say I'm sure. And I'm sure he had all the armor bearers. But he was reachable. Yeah. He was reachable. It was like, man, I could, he was talking to us. Yeah. Now, mind you, can I explain something to you? I have no idea what the message was about. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you today what he talked about. I think he talked for like 15 minutes. I have no idea. I have no idea what songs they sung. I have no idea. But when this member decided to jump off her post and take me around the back, I was sold. Yeah. I said, you built a relationship with me. Yeah. You took time out of your day. You jumped. Now, you know in the first Ebenezer Baptist Church of Abbott, you ain't that. jumping off your post. No, 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 Brother, no, you better no. be right there <laughs> at all times. And don't ask me to take your spot. I'm already doing something. You, that's your spot. But she decided to jump off her post yeah. and walk me around to the back. I said, Lord. You know, me and one of my friends, we were talking. And we talk all the time. He, he knows what it is. And I said, man, you know, uh, not just being, not just saying African American, but we don't have worries. We got some of the baddest preachers in the world. Yeah. We got some bad preachers. They know the word. They can give it to you. Feel the anointing in God's house. God is using them like crazy. We got a love issue. Yeah. We we got we got some issues with love. We got some issues when people walk in. I mean, the first time we welcome, oh, we're so glad. But brother, that second time, don't come in that. Don't come in looking different. You know now. People got to feel welcome. Yeah. People, you got to know. And your members got to feel welcome. See, yeah. You got to feel welcome. I can't just because you're not. for buying the cupcakes. Thank you so much for getting a drink. Thank you so much for waiting for me. Amen. We have to love one another. It's very difficult to love someone that comes through that door and we don't love each other. So difficult. We have to build strong relationships in the body of faith and it starts with us. It starts with us. Tell your neighbor, let it go. You got to let go. Oh, that's sometimes, that's sometimes half the battle. Yeah. Letting go. Yeah. Amen. Because he did you wrong. I, I, don't, I don't have to apologize. 
I don't have to say I'm sorry. I wasn't at fault. Why handcuff yourself? Yeah. Why? Why handcuff yourself and not release? Release it. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I, I want to drop that. Yeah. I, I, we need to. This is kingdom business. This is bigger than us. Yeah. Amen. We can't allow the enemy to come in and cause a rift between us. Hallelujah. We have to be a strong tower because people are coming in that need help. And if I'm fighting with you, hallelujah, I miss the opportunity, hallelujah, yeah. to witness to my brother and sister. Yeah. He came here for deliverance and I'm fighting with you. He came here for healing and I'm fighting with you. He came here to be set free and I'm busy arguing with you, hallelujah. Yeah. You know what? It's bigger. God, I'm sorry, hallelujah. Forgive me, hallelujah. I don't care whose fault it was. We have to build strong yes. relationships with one another. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible, hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah, the head cannot say to the feet, mm -hmm. hallelujah, I don't need you. Mm -hmm. Just because you're working in a different office. At Pastor Joel's church, the feet decided, hallelujah, to fix everything I had. Hallelujah. I was sold that moment. I told you I have no idea what he spoke about. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you. You know, we all, it was even a moment where people had their phones up while, while they were speaking. And I just knew he was, the cameraman was about to come and say, man, y'all got to stop that. Y'all got to get rid of that. He came and just said, just hold him a little lower. Mm -hmm. Still video, but just hold him a little lower. Mm -hmm. Now at the first apostolic <laughs> church. At Renee's or faith, <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they for sure would have said, brother, you gotta put that down. Yeah. You can't do that. We know, you know, we have the whole talk. We gotta learn people of God. I'm not talking about half people acting crazy in church. Yeah. But people wanna feel welcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. People wanna feel love. Right. People wanna feel that. And it can be one trigger. You don't mean no harm by it, but one thing that said that says, you know what, I can't go here. Yeah. This, this ain't it for me. You know, it's one thing, sure. you know, and it's sometimes where we get so, I would say, ritualistic where where it, it, we have to do this. After the welcome, it has to be this. After this has to be that. After this has to be that. And you say something that's like, man, these people, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know how we do church. Mm -hmm. They don't know. Give them some time. Mm -hmm. Give them some time to adapt. Strong relationships. People are being treated all kind of ways at home. Beat down, talked about, mistreated. It's no point to come to church and get the same treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of reminds me in 2008, you know, when we was, when we was working at uh, Wells Fargo or anywhere, we know the, 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 the crash had just happened. Mm -hmm. So employers can kind of talk to you kind of anyway because you can't leave, you need me. Mm -hmm. You need me. So. You know, you want that day off, I don't got to give it to you. Because nowhere, you can't go nowhere else. Mm -hmm. You're stuck here. And there's so many churches in this world, sometimes we get the thought that you need me. You got to be here. The word. Yes. Wherever. Yeah, yeah. Wherever he wants to. That's right. How, we can't get so stuck up and, re and think that they need us. No, we need you. Mm -hmm. We need you. Hallelujah. I need you to come in. I need your smile. I need you more than you need me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because by you coming in, you're teaching me things. You're teaching me to humble myself. You're teaching me, hallelujah, how to have more joy. The fact that you can have joy in everything you going through. Yeah. How you teaching yeah. me, hallelujah, how to be happy. Yeah. You're teaching me, hallelujah, how to walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil. Yeah. You're teaching me, hallelujah, how to, hallelujah, not, not get weary, hallelujah, in well-doing. You're teaching me, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah, when the fiery darts come, amen. Yeah. You're teaching me to hold on to God. God's word. Yes. You're teaching me these yes. things. Yes. Strong relationships. Mm -hmm. Now, me and Brother Trey, hallelujah, I told him I was going to talk about it. I'm talking about it. <laughs> me and Brother Trey, hallelujah, we have built a strong relationship. Amen. When he first came to me about, you know, the wedding and everything, well, the first time I met him, he was like, hey, this is a minister. He, you know, he's a minister, blah, blah, blah. I said, let me see. Let me check him out. 
let me see if this brother is really who he say he is. Because everybody can come and say they minister because he got a little cross chain. That don't mean nothing. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Amen. He wearing a little cross. That don't mean nothing. We had one person tell, tell one of our supervisors, if you're going to wear the cross, at least act it. Hallelujah to God. So I'm looking at him. Amen. I'm looking at him and saying, let me check him out. You know? All right. We start talking. And, you know, he, he's talking. And, and I'm realizing, you know, he, he's, he, really, he says, you know, I kind of, he, he, well, he didn't tell me, you know, Trey, anybody who knows Trey. Amen. Trey, Trey held off. Even though I know I was the guy. Trey held off, amen, hallelujah, to God for the wedding. He didn't tell me until like the last minute. Hallelujah. He's like, okay, now you passed, brother. Now, now you actually going to be the guy. I was like, all right, no problem, Trey. No problem. That's Trey. I love him, amen. That's, that's who he is. Hallelujah. But I, I, I remember uh, uh, about a couple weeks ago, and I was like, man, Trey, I got to talk to you. I said, we got we to gotta, we gotta talk. He said, all right, he came over. I said, man. Lord, man, speaking, man, this is we we more than just this wedding. It's bigger than that. I said, man, we 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 supposed to be doing work together. He was like, man, God gave me the same thing. I said, praise God. We supposed to work. It's, it's bigger than that. You're my brother. You know what I mean, I don't want to just come to your wedding. Hey, man, you're married. Have a great day and get out of there. I said, it's it's something more than that. But just building strong relationships. When I need some, I know I can go. Brother, I need prayer. Trey, hit me with, hey, well, I need to talk to you. It is, it's important. He'll hit me with that. I'm, I need to talk to you. You need to come over. All right. All right. No, you know, you don't got to. No, I, I'm going to come now. Because it's kingdom business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Strong relationships. Yes. Building strong relationships. Can you imagine had we not built a relationship at all? Mm -hmm. Amen. It'd probably be like, man, I'm not coming to your church. I'm not coming over here. Relationships. Yes. Got to build a strong relationship. Amen. Yes. Amen. Tell your neighbor, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Amen. Look at Colossians 3, 12 and 13. Amen. It says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone forgive as the Lord forgave you mm. it says clothe yourself with compassion mm -hmm. we gotta be compassionate people if people can't receive compassion in the house of God what are we here for mm -hmm. people, got, people are coming through this house broken Mm -hmm. Tore down. Hallelujah. They already have a defense up, uh, up, up against us saying, I know you just want to judge me. Mm -hmm. I know you're just coming out, amen, to talk about me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you my story. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tell you what's going on. I don't want to hear you. Hallelujah. You don't understand what I'm dealing with. When is the time you've, you've lost someone? When is the time you've been on drugs? When is the time you've done this? You don't know what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. People already have that standard put up. Mm -hmm. You have to be compassionate. And you have to allow people to reveal themselves to you. Mm -hmm. We can't be so... You need to tell me now. You need to tell me now. You need to tell me now. Tell me now. Tell me now. What's going on? Oh, I love you. Jesus loves you. There's room for you on the cross. Hallelujah. There's room for you. Hallelujah. Jesus wants to save you. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. God wants to heal you. Hallelujah. You have to allow people to reveal themselves to you. How instead of sitting down saying, "Now oh, you're gonna to talk to me. You're gonna tell me what's going on." Relationship. We have to build relationships with each other. Mm -hmm. Because people can come in and see. They can see when things are broken. Mm -hmm. They can see when things are messed up. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine when you first got saved? Can you imagine when you went into a church and automatically felt it as soon as you hit the door? Like, oh, there's something going on here. It's, this ain't quite right. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't like the way. Their word is awesome. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the way they treat people. I don't like the way they talk to people. I don't really like the way they talk about people. Sure. Building relationships. Hallelujah. Build, we got to build strong relationships with our brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Look what it says. It says humility and gentleness and patience. 
People not going to fix it as soon as they walk in, people of God. People don't walk through these doors fixed already. Yeah. Hallelujah. You wasn't fixed. Some of us ain't fixed. Mm -hmm. We still dealing, amen, with issues, amen. You have to put yourself in their shoes and say, well, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't together when I came in. I wasn't put all together when I came through these doors. Why don't we give the same? You got to be patient. Mm -hmm. You got to be humble. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You're not, you have not arrived. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Gentleness. You got to be soft. It's going to be okay. Some people need you to be soft. We can't be so rough, mm -hmm. amen, so rough around the edges. Tell someone, building relationships. Building relationships. Building relationships, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It reminds me, it's like building a house. It's like building a house. Four pillars, amen. Four pillars, I'm going to talk about that, and I'm going to get out your way, amen. But the first pillar we have is the pillar of trust. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. People got to be able to trust you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I tell you something. Hallelujah. I got to know that it ain't going nowhere. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to know. And I don't. I shouldn't have to tell you. Don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. You know we got some things that you tell someone. You're like, I know I wasn't supposed to tell nobody that. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't be so itchy to tell people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some things that God has revealed to you wasn't even to reveal to the person. It was for you to pray for. Mm -hmm. God said, pray about it. It wasn't for you to tell someone. Sure. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. But a pillar of trust, people have to feel, amen, trusted, amen, when they come through these doors. They have to feel, they, they have to feel like, well, they won't judge me. Hallelujah. It's not saying we don't correct behavior. Mm -hmm. yeah. We correct behavior, amen, through his word. Mm -hmm. We correct mistakes through his word. But I gotta let you know we trust. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. People have to feel. Trust it. Amen. Yeah. How to tell someone trust. trust. Hallelujah. People have to feel, amen, respect. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I don't just respect the pastor mm -hmm. of the church, amen, but I respect every office. Mm -hmm. Every office, amen, has, amen, uh, a, a discerning a moment, amen, and a discerning meaning. Hallelujah. You're important. Mm -hmm. Everyone in here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because you can reach those I can't reach. You can touch those I can't touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can shake those I can't shake. Amen. So it's no point to look at you like you're nothing. Hallelujah. But hallelujah. I got to amen. Hallelujah. Continue to amen. Amen. Give you give you more and continue to amen. Encourage you and yeah. continue. Amen. To give you joy and continue. Amen. Yeah. To allow you to work in your gift. Amen. Because your gift is so important. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the body of faith. Amen. Yeah. I can't just stump on you. It's just acting like you're nothing, hallelujah, just because of behind this pulpit, amen. But you are important. Yes, yes. You are important to the body of faith. You are important, amen, to the ministry. Yes. You are important, amen, hallelujah, to God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. You are important. Tell someone you're important. You're important. Amen, hallelujah. People don't hear that. People, don't, people need to hear that. You are important. You are important. No matter, amen, the mistakes you made, you are important. Hallelujah. You're important. Hallelujah. Respect. Amen. The, other, the third pillar is the pillar of understanding. Hallelujah. Amen. The pillar of understanding. People got to know, hallelujah, when they come in, despite all your faults, despite everything you did, there's room for you at the cross. Hallelujah. Because people get down People feel like there's no hope for me. I did this, this, and this. I did that, that, and that. God said, there's still room for you. Yeah. You can still be saved. Mm -hmm. You can still feel welcome. Hallelujah. We got to love people. Mm -hmm. Strong relationships. And it starts inside the house. Yes. It starts inside the house. Yes. It starts inside of here. I got to love my brother and sister because people see it. They see it from a mile away. Hallelujah. The pastor, amen, has a Bentley and a Rolls Royce because he's taking all the church money, amen. That's already the case. That's already. They already think, amen, he's living off the tithes and offering of the church. That's already the case. They already think. So they already come with a guard up, amen. 
But it's us who breaks those little shackles, breaks the little glass, mm -hmm. breaks and says, okay, now I can see a little clearer. Mm -hmm. Now I can see, hallelujah. It had nothing to do with that. It had nothing to do with that. So we have respect, we have trust, we have understanding, and then we have the pillar of love. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, love. People have to feel safe and secure yes. in the house of God. People have to know, hallelujah, amen, in this house, mm -hmm. you have safety. Yes. Hallelujah, in this house, you are secure. It's not saying issues don't happen, hallelujah, but in this house, hallelujah, you have safety. Yes. Hallelujah, in this house, you are supported. People got to know they're supported, amen. Hallelujah, that's strong relationship building, amen. Support is not always saying what you're doing is right. Support can be, hey, I wouldn't go that route. Support is saying, hey, I, I wouldn't do that that way, amen. What you're doing, man, it doesn't look well, amen, for your witness, amen. Support. Mm -hmm. Not allowing your brother to be overtaken in a fault, amen. But ye with your spiritual, restore him in the spirit of meekness, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Humble, amen. Love. I restore him in love, hallelujah. Yeah. I don't knock him down, hallelujah. I don't kick him out, hallelujah. But I say, brother, hallelujah, I know I know where you're at. Mm -hmm. And God is here saying, I forgive you. Yes. God is saying, I love you. Mm -hmm. God is saying, hallelujah, I receive you. People have to know, amen, have to have a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sense of belonging. And a sense of belonging ain't putting him to work. Hallelujah. It ain't just about, hey, let's get, we got a new brother here. He's going to be a junior deacon. Or he's going to be a deacon. Or he's going to be, he going to watch the parking lot. Amen. Mm -hmm. People got to feel a belonging when they come in the house of God. That belonging is love. I got to know that you love me. Truly love me. Not just saying it. Not saying the minister says, get up and say I love you to everybody. Not that. But I have to have a sense mm -hmm. of belonging. Amen. Yeah. People got to feel care. People got to feel care. Wow. It starts here. I got to know that you care about me. Amen. Hey, you may not have the answer to everything, but I got to at least know you care. I got to at least know you pray. Hallelujah, amen. I don't care if it's hitting the ceiling. At least pray, please. Please pray. I got to at least know you pray for me. Yes. People got to feel accepted. Amen, hallelujah. Back in the day, man, when, when I was, before before I got saved, hallelujah, you already know the story. Amen, so I can say it. Hallelujah, amen. Before I got saved, being in Dominguez, amen, it's interesting when you look at, just looking in general, you look at like gangs and stuff like that. When you look at gangs, the first thing they try to show you is that we love you and no one else does. Mm -hmm. We got your back and no one else does. We care for you and nobody else does. Mm -hmm. We accept you and nobody else does. Mm -hmm. We trust you, nobody else does. Those who come from, I mean, some of Amen. They feel like they lack love or they feel like they lack care. They feel like they lack acceptance. They really cling to that. They really say, you know what? I, I, I want that. I want that acceptance. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want that care. And it's just a trick. Amen. But we should have that same kind of, amen, perseverance. Hallelujah. Like the gangs, because they will not stop. Hallelujah. Until you join. Mm -hmm. You're going to do something. You're going to choose this day. Hallelujah, who you gonna serve? Hallelujah. They will not stop. And you, man, brother, you still after me? You still? Until eventually, you're like, man, how'd I get here? Mm -hmm. How'd I get in this place? How'd I get to this stage in my life? But they build that relationship with you. Mm -hmm. They build and they say, you can be this. Mm -hmm. You can be that. And man, you can be the in the world, man. You know, you, you can have all kind of people scared of you. You can have all this and you can have all that. You know, I'm just like, wow. And it becomes mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. But you're like, you know what? I want that. Mm -hmm. I want to be the baddest dude. Mm -hmm. I want to be the I want to be the baddest guy in the school. It's a trick of the enemy. That's true. But we can use that same technique. Mm -hmm. We can put with love. Mm -hmm. Because you are somebody. When people walk in, we got you are somebody. 
That's you right. can make it. You are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. You're the head and not the tail. You're above right. and not beneath. Hallelujah. Right. You're everything. Amen. No matter what schools tell you, hallelujah, no matter what your parents tell you, hallelujah, you are somebody in yeah. Christ. You are important. You are victorious. Hallelujah. Yeah. You are more than a conqueror. Amen. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah. No matter what it looks like, right. you are that. We got to speak yeah. life into dead situations. Amen. We got to speak life. Hallelujah. Into people. Because people are coming through broken. They don't know when, hallelujah. This is their last hope, hallelujah. They came here and said, God, if you don't do it, I don't trust nobody. If nothing happens this Sunday, I don't believe it will. I'm going home and taking my life, hallelujah. I'm going home and I'm giving up, hallelujah. Let me see how this church reacts, God. Let me see what the people of God do. People are coming in, hallelujah, on their last hope. Wanting to give up. Wanting to say I'm done. I threw in the towel, God. What are you going to do? Yeah. And God has strategically put us in position to receive people. We got to be ready. That's right. We got to be ready to receive the people. It's pulpit hallelujah yeah. when you come in did i greet you hallelujah yeah. amen did i give you a hug hallelujah did i tell you you can do it hallelujah yeah. even with our kids amen we gotta watch what we say to our kids amen hallelujah we wonder why hallelujah we amen we talk certain ways we said we would never act like mama and daddy but now we acting like mama and dad we said we would never do that but now we do that because we we, we didn't deal with that back in our life hallelujah now we got that same thing carrying on now hallelujah back then now we give it heart hallelujah we didn't take care of the hatred back then yeah. now we got hate in our heart That's and true. don't know how to get rid of yeah. it hallelujah yeah. but god i God, I cast all my cares upon you. Hallelujah. God, I'm asking you, I need help. Hallelujah. Because it's so to love, hallelujah, someone and you don't love yourself. Hallelujah. If you can't love yourself, can you possibly love me? You don't even know what love looks like. Hallelujah. You don't even so people come in, hallelujah, all bound up, hallelujah, and you're wondering why they're that way, hallelujah. hallelujah it's because of their past. Yes, yes. You have to build strong relationships. Don't wait for the man or woman of God to do it. Yes. You there. You minister. You talk to them. It's bigger than knowing every single and party. Boom, 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 boom. Now watch the simple things. Yeah. When they walk in, just say hello. Yeah. This brother been in church for three months. And he don't even know your name. Yeah. We don't even know him. The simple things. Mm -hmm. The simple things we, we have to work on. We're good. We got the word. We know the word. Yeah. The word is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Why are people coming through the doors? Why are people, I'm not just talking about this church, I'm talking about the I've already had the steak and lobster. Yes. I've already had, amen, the sauteed shrimp before I got to you. So anything you give me is just dessert. Yes. That's just extra. Come on, that's just extra. I'll yes. take that. Yeah. We have to learn to build strong, strong relationships. Now, strong relationships have issues. They fight. They talk. You know what? We we had our we had our rift, but we reconnect. We reconnect. We, reconnect. Right. It's, we, we don't just say, well, I'm gone, I'm out of here. We have to build strong relationships with one another. We have to. Interesting scripture, amen. In first John, hallelujah. I want to go there. First John, hallelujah. First John, I believe it's chapter four. Amen. Chapter four, verse 19 to 21. And the Bible reads, Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. I apologize. <laughs> we love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. Jesus. For anyone who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And we have this commandment from him. Whoever loves God must love his brother as well. Very difficult. If we don't love one another in here, how in the world are we going to love those who come through these doors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How in the world, if I don't know how to receive you, yeah. how am I going to receive someone that comes through here who don't look or talk the way I, I would think they need to talk in church? That's true. That's true. We have to build strong relationships inside the house. Mm -hmm. Brothers, sisters, you know, we a family church. Mm -hmm. We got a church. Most of us are family. We can't have issues with each other. Now, I know family can get on your nerves. I get it. I know family can be like, oh, my gosh. You know what? I know we see each other in different lights. I get it. Yeah. But I can't have an issue with you. If you can't love your own sister, yes. you're not going to receive me. That's true. If you don't love your own brother, you're not going to receive me. That's true. We have to. You know what it is? We have to become mature. We can't bicker and fight. We can't hold grudges. We have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Give it to God. Mm -hmm. We gotta give it to God. Mm -hmm. we, 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 sometimes we, we argue and we, we, we kind of fight over things that are so minute. Because mm -hmm. if that person was taken from here, yes. wow, you would have so much regret. Mm -hmm. I tell you people of God, fix it. Whatever it is, it's not worth it. Whatever it is, brother, sister, mama, daddy, um, uncle, aunt, amen, cousin, fix it now. I'll get with this. I had a, had a, a, a one of my one of my friends, amen. I just got saved, and I was excited. You know, when you get saved, I was like, woo, man, I jump off this roof. I went home and cracked every Eminem CD I had. Everyone, I just broke it. Now, I don't take all that. I'm not saying when you get saved, you need to do that. But I needed that. I said, I got to crack. I cracked every single CD. And the first thing I said, I said, man, I'm going to go witness to, I'm going to go tell this dude about Jesus. One of my friends. And I remember I talked to him and saying, man, you know, Jesus wants to save you, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, man, get your way out of here. Exactly what he told me. He died the next week. Passed away in a car accident. I felt so bad. I cried almost the whole funeral. I think you was with me uh, at the funeral. I cried the whole funeral. I had no idea what it was about. But I was like, the opportunity was there. I tried to tell you. Now, hopefully, in that week, I don't know what happened. But I tried to tell him about Jesus. I tried to tell him that there was room. But I just, he, he, at that moment, he didn't accept it. I say that to say, there's too much going on in life to hold grudges. There's too much going on. We got kingdom building. There's too much to do to be mad at each other. There's too much to do to be upset with one another. Forgive and let it go. We have to show love. Because people want to come through. They want to come through here. And as long as there's hatred, they'll come through and run out. Yeah. We have to fix it. Tell your neighbor, fix it. Fix it. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this time, God. God, we're asking, Lord God, that you help us, God, build stronger relationships with one another, God. Stronger, Lord God, Lord God, relationships with our brothers, our sisters, our family, Lord God, our friends, Lord God. Allow us to receive, Lord God, everyone you have strategically designed for this ministry. God, allow us, Lord God, to receive a broken heart, Lord God, who come, Lord God, from a broken Allow us, Lord God, for those individuals. Receive help, Lord God.
God, allow us, Lord God, to receive, Lord God. Lord God, those people who have church hurt, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Allow us to forgive one another. Hallelujah, Lord God, and love more. Hallelujah, God. Let it go and love more. Hallelujah, God. God, we just thank you today, God. We bless you today, God. Today is our new day. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We speak it in the atmosphere right now, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We're not worried about what happened this morning, God. What what happened last week, God? What happened last night, God? But today is my new day. Hallelujah. I declare victory right now in the name of Jesus. I declare, hallelujah, that I'm the head and not the tail, God. I declare that I'm an overcomer, God. I declare that I'm victorious, God. I declare that I am filled with love. Hallelujah, God. And I'm ready to pour out, hallelujah, to my brothers and sisters, God. I declare that I won't take anything, Lord God, personal God, hallelujah. I declare, Lord God, that those that need, I need, Lord God, to mend the grudge with, I'll mend it right now in the name of Jesus. I'll close that gap, hallelujah. For today, hallelujah, God, is the new me, hallelujah. Today is my new day, hallelujah, God. We thank you and we bless you, God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Stronger relationships. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Stronger yeah. relationships. God bless you. Amen.